All right, welcome back, eSim Studios. Have a very special delivery. I want to thank HP for sending this over. Today I have the unboxing. We have the unboxing, excuse me. As soon as you open it up, <clears throat> you get the HP experience. They've kind of rebranded. Let me tilt it back so everybody can see. This is what it looks inside. Let's now, this is supposed to include a pin. A USB Type-C rechargeable pin. Uh, let's see if we can pull this out. This is a 14-inch laptop. Wow, pretty thin, pretty lightweight. Um, cool. We'll get to that in just a second. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm assuming you just pull this back. Here you go. This is the pin inside here. I'm sure we'll get a lot of use out of this. Let's see what it looks like. Always like the rechargeable ones, the Type C, because you don't have to worry about the stupid battery. Let's see what it looks like. There we go. Cool. So I have um, I have some others here, and I wasn't really quite sure. Couldn't really get a good review, a good look of what these look like online. But it looks pretty neat. Where do you recharge this thing? HP logo right there. And apparently this has got a tremendous amount of touch support as far as different strengths when you're pushing down on the screen. Thousands of readings. It says charge before first use. That's great, but where do we charge it? It looks like it's probably some... Ah, ha, ha. What do you know? So this side just pops in and out. Easily recharge it just like that. Let me go ahead and plug it in. By the way, I just plugged it in. How cool is this? Look at that. When you plug it in here, I got a super thick charger, but look at that. That is cool. So I'm assuming it's a orange color when you're charging, and I'm assuming when it's completed, when it's fully charged, it'll turn green or something like that. That's pretty cool. Never seen that before. All right. So. Let's see what else we get here. Uh, instruction manual, owner's guide that nobody reads or looks at. We'll throw that to the side like everybody else. I'm sure it's got the warranty information in there. And then you get a charger. So one of the great things about this laptop is it has a quote-unquote fast charging it's a fast charger. Now, you can get up to, I believe it's 80% battery life in like 30 minutes. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Uh, shame on me. I should know the, that. But somewhere in that uh, area. So, it does charge fast for a laptop. Uh, so, if you're on the go, it this is sort of made for on the go. Uh, from the home to the office to uh, out in the field. It's made for quick charging lightweight and it is a convertible so it's a two-in-one four different modes uh, but you get a nice hp charger here how how strong i think this is six yeah 65 watts 65 watts so these are all it's always nice to charge your phone too side note but uh let's see what the pc looks like all right so let's go ahead i'm gonna remove this sleeve and then we can, I'll put the sleeve in here and move the box to the side so we can get a good look at the PC here. All right. Oh, nice. Wow, look at this color. Oh, my goodness. Wow. This color is absolutely insane. Now... This is the atmospheric blue. Now it might be kind of hard. Let me, you know, let, let me uh, let me put this sleeve up and move this box, and we'll check this color out. So this is the atmospheric blue. It is an option now. This is uh, not a more expensive option. You actually have two options with this um, HP OmniBook Ultra Flip. You have an Eclipse Gray, which is a dark gray, uh, which most I'm assuming, well, yeah, most laptops are basically a black or a very dark gray. I'm ecstatic they sent over this atmospheric blue. This is probably the best looking color I've ever seen on a laptop. 
My goodness, can y'all see that through the, kind of hard to tell, uh, through the screen, but just looking at it with the naked eye, oh my gosh, absolutely stunning. Now, let's get into some of these specs real quick. Now, this thing is pretty impressive, so if you, I'll put a link in the description, you can customize it yourself. Now, this one that they sent over is pretty freaking impressive, so... This specific uh, uh, laptop has got a 14 inch diagonal 3K OLED display. It's a multi touch enabled. It's a it's a hundred it's up to 120 hertz down to 48. So I, I yeah it's a LTPO uh, two excuse me 0 0.2 millisecond response time edge to edge glass HDR up to 500 nits. Now, this specific one has a 512 gig PCIe Gen 4 M.2, full-size backlit, darker atmospheric blue opaque keyboard. Now, this does have Intel Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4. So, these are the absolute latest and greatest uh, components in here. Wi-Fi 7, Bluetooth 5.4. Now, they are soldered in uh, to the motherboard, right? But that will future-proof you for the next foreseeable future. You will be good on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, right? This has the Intel Core Ultra 7. This is the second gen, the 258V. Now it's up to 4.8 gigahertz. And it's got eight cores, eight threads, and it's powered by Intel Arc Graphics. This has 32 gigabytes onboard storage of RAM. 32 now, it is DDR5X, and it is insane how fast this RAM is. It's, it's the fastest RAM I've ever seen. The RAM is soldered into the motherboard, but like most laptops are, not a big deal. Good thing they sent over 32. So this is an AI. Uh, it has a, uh, a dedicated NPU, and it can get up to 47 tops, 47 trillion operations per second. The other ARM chips, now this is obviously x86. This is an x86, so all of your programs, everything will work on here just like you're used to. Um, now it actually beats out the Snapdragon X uh, CPUs, the ARM CPUs. I believe they, they do, uh, the Plus does just about 40 tops in the best one i believe does like 45 so this barely uh edges out the arm competition so technically this is a better um ai pc and oh my god does it look better so this has this has the poly studio very interested and looking forward to getting uh some time on that now check this out it's got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack right there very thin very lightweight. Now check this out. It has, where are the ports? Where the hell are the ports? Just kidding. There's one right here. And there's two right here. That's right. There's only three. Now, does suck. Just like every phone, right? There's, there, there's no such thing as a perfect phone. There's no such thing as a perfect computer. There's no, no such thing as a perfect laptop. Uh, it is what it is. It's been that way. And I believe it's going to stay, stay that way. For a long time so um this appears to be not a perfect pc but it's damn close uh i believe if they could could have squeezed one more uh type c port on here uh it'd be a better right I'm, we're, gonna, we're gonna have to get a uh, usb type c hub here to add ethernet and uh type a uh, USB Type A. Now, two out of the three are Thunderbolt. So, these two here on on this side are Thunderbolt, and this one is regular Gen 3.2, I believe. So let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, can you open it with one hand? Mm, no. Now the hinge has to be pretty rigid stiff because remember it is a two-in-one so you can flip it over in tent mode uh you can do it in tablet mode let's see so the pin so the pin connects to the side here oh my goodness look at that now as you can tell does have a fingerprint scanner in here 
right? Now, it also has infrared uh, for Windows Hello. So it has face recognition. I absolutely love that. The last one that I reviewed, the HP Omnibook X, that had AI face recognition. The screen turns off when you walk away. As soon as you walk back to your PC and it scans your face automatically, your screen turns on even before your butt hits the seat. Uh, it's I absolutely love it. No more passwords. No more stupid fingerprints. Of course, you can if you want, but uh, that's like my favorite. The Windows Hello feature. <laughs> I think one of my favorite features. So, got a nice layout here, right? Keyboard. We have decent travel. Can you hear the sound? Let's see if we can pick it up. Um, decent travel. Not too bad. Maybe a little more than I uh, expected, but you get the HP Classic look and feel uh, of their keyboards. I absolutely love it. Uh, everything is very nicely laid out. Now, this does have a haptic trackpad. Haptic trackpad. I think this is the first machine, the first laptop, first uh, any non... Now, minus a tablet, but I believe this will be my first haptic uh, anything outside of a phone. I'm As far as a keyboard goes, right? I've never had a haptic feedback when it comes to a keyboard on a laptop before but uh definitely gonna enjoy that so has the a ai branding then you have the intel core ultra 7 evo edition here and then you have some omnibook ultra um logo on the left side so let's flip it and see exactly this would be tablet mode right here obviously can do tent mode now is this hinge let's see how sturdy this hinge is right it's not going to there was one uh, not HP there was a few years ago I can't remember which one it was it wouldn't stay in, again not HP but it was a um, cheap competitor Obviously not at the HP standards, but uh, it had trouble staying in tent mode. I don't know why, but uh, I guess they need to get on HP's level. But um, very nice. And you can put it in, uh, what is that? What do they call this? Viewing mode? Viewer mode? Share mode? I don't know. Um, now, it also has a slider here. Manual slider for your face. Just like that. And uh, let's see. Wow. So that'll do it for the unboxing. If you have any questions whatsoever, I'll go ahead and fire it up real quick. If you got any questions whatsoever, go ahead and leave them in the comments. If you want me to test something, if you want me to run. So we're going to run it through um, benchmarks. We're going to do all sorts of testing on here. We're going to do app testing. I have iPhone and Android here, so we're going to uh, see how it pairs with these phones, file transfers, um, all sorts of stuff. Long-term review, short-term review. I think it needs a charge, you know? There's a fair amount of distance between the screen and the keyboard here. Interesting. Is That's the power button, no? Let's let's connect the pin on here real quick before we get out of here. All right. Well, what did I tell you? Look at this. Pin is fully charged and it has like a, um, a nice bright white, almost a light blue color there once fully charged. So it was not green as, as I thought, but hey, that looks that looks even better right there. So since this appears to be dead, went ahead and plugged in this. Now, you can charge it in any one of these uh, Type-C ports. Now, this base, this line, this Omnibook line, basically replaces the Spectre line. Those Spectre fans out there, 
uh, if you're looking to possibly get a replacement for your Spectre, this model, this line, apparently replaces the Spectre. Uh, um, now look, it still has the same kind of layout. So you can tell right here, and we'll see um, after we use this more, just how well. I've never had a, obviously never owned a Spectre line, but typically on the uh, laptops, you have a traditional rectangle uh, design, right? With sharp, right, with right angles. And look, these corners are cut off here. Right now, these down here obviously right angles, but up here where it's kind of inverted inside uh, to the display, there's a Type C port here where it's inverted, and then a Type C port here. Right now, that could cause issues if you put it up against a wall and you want it all the way up against a wall where the backside is flush. If you plug it in here, let's give it a try, um, it will obviously not not fit right uh, uh, flush up against a wall because you have a charger going this way and not this way. But um, they do have one port going straight out to the right side. It's right here. And it is charging, so let's see if we can at least fire it up. What would, un uh, what would an unboxing be without firing it up? Let's see. There we go. Just wanted to make sure when it wasn't going to have to send it back. No. It, it, it appears it's just a dead battery. But uh, no worries. Again, this does have fast charging. So should be up and running here in no time. And that'll do it for this unboxing uh, for the HP Omnibook Ultra Flip. I will leave a link in the description where you can get this uh, to HP's website um, and you can customize it. It's really cool. Um, actually, out of, and I'm not, I'm not just saying that because they send this, but out of uh, the major manufacturers, right, for, um, for PCs, HP has the best website, the easiest to navigate. Um, everything's clean and clear. Uh, <laughs> I was on some others uh, last week. God almighty. They, some of these manufacturers, uh, the, their websites are a freaking mess. Um, hard to navigate, uh, just a complete mess. Um, HP's is so easy. It, go to watch, do this, go to the link in the description box and it'll take you to this. I promise you, it's it's awesome. You can customize it. You can add stuff. You can subtract stuff. Oh, I want to put 32 gigs now. I want to put to the Ultra 5 the instead of the Ultra Turn 7 CPU. Windows plus control plus um, enter. It's very, very nice, very neat, very clean and easy to operate. So I appreciate stuff like that because it just, you know, you don't waste time. So anyways... I don't want to waste any more of your time. So I'm going to get this set up and uh, please subscribe to the channel and we'll have a lot more HP Omnibook Ultra Flip on the way. Peace out.